ground stop here for this beautiful view. Waking up to this. All I know is I'm a little bit tired. It's still a bit chilly. So I'm going to blow my mattress one last time and maybe try to sleep in a little bit. Oh. Then we'll wake up again later. <laughs> Coffee's getting ready. Let's have a look around. This is a uh, surfer's paradise. And fishermen. And we get a sunrise. And here's our lodging last night. It was all right, but my mattress is flat again. So I'll see if I can fix that again this morning. Anyways, let's have some coffee. in the most awkward position right on the seam right on the corner very difficult to get it flattened I think I'm just gonna smother this with glue and then put the patch over and see what happens but you see that thing being rubbery it figure if I cover the whole hole like that that would be enough. So now we gotta let that dry. Mm -hmm. And when it's dried quite a bit, then we'll apply the one to the other. Well, it's been over five minutes. This looks pretty dry to me. So, theory is applying this on that will get it to stick and, well, hopefully it works. Probably put something heavy on it and let it dry for a bit. What have I got that's heavy? my whole gear <laughs> uh, is there a rock here or? in the meantime I guess it's time for me to start packing my gear and uh, look for a place for breakfast all right but wow look at that view. surfers in the distance can you see that about loaded uh, it's about 9 15 I'm gonna head off east a beautiful view a beautiful place to wake up so thank God for this um, count your blessing when you get them and this was definitely a blessing in disguise I'm going to go east along the coast to a place called uh, Lunyu and that should take a few hours and somewhere along the way I'll stop somewhere for some breakfast and try to enjoy the ride so that's right on
Sumbawa has got a population of about 1.5 million people, yet it's a really big island. It's starting to open up with tourism. Lots of surfers come here, there's lots of really great waves on the south coast. But um, so much that is still unexplored. We've been driving for about an hour through this jungle, this little road. And everywhere you can see, it's like the jungle's trying to take back the road, you know. It's eating up at it little, little by little. We're like one rainy season away from seeing the whole thing collapse on the side, you know. But it's really nice. Slow drive because of the curves and because as you saw, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, there's monkeys, there's holes, there's earlier when there was, uh, when we were in the villages, there's cows and goats and kids. Uh, you name it. So you can't go fast. But it's a nice drive. Right now I'm enjoying this very much. Um, got about another hour and a half or so before we get to uh, the destination. I was hoping to get some breakfast before that, but I don't know if I'll find a place because there's just no one around here. I was hoping I'd see a little warung on the side of the road and stop there, but nothing so far. We'll just have some water and um, enjoy the quiet and the peace. We got some nasi champur here, um, egg and some chicken. Wow. All right, had breakfast or should I say brunch? Uh, really nice little warung on the side of the road. And uh, this plan now is to well keep on driving and see where I get. I actually don't really have a plan, uh, but I do need to find a place to camp probably somewhere mid afternoon. So uh, hopefully I'll find something good before then. All right, so let's ride on. Yes, 
Beautiful view. basically going from the south part of the island of Sumbawa to Sumbawa Basar, which is in the north. Um, means going through a mountainous road with lots of curves and it says about three hours and I thought I'm um, taking it very easy. I'm driving slowly because of the state of the road so I thought to try that means I probably will have to sleep in the forest somewhere and camp there. I really didn't look forward to that. So um, I decided to just get a place here and tomorrow morning I'll uh, have a very early start and make it across to uh, Sumbawa Pasar. I uh, found this cheapest place type of place here. It's not brilliant, but um, it'll do the job. Um, 75,000, that means about, uh, I guess about $5. So <laughs> relatively, it's a very cheap. <laughs> um, so yeah, $5. Uh, yeah, it's very expensive. Look at me. <laughs> I'm so tight. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but it'll do the job and uh, it gives me a chance to spend the afternoon, relax a little bit and do a bit of work. So that's what we're doing. So that's what it is. So um, if you've enjoyed the video for today, it's a beautiful road. At some point you're flanked by, on the left side you got beautiful hills with like uh, various crops being grown. And on the right side, you got the ocean. It's just every curve brings a new surprise. It's really amazing, a really lovely road. Uh, thanks, Stephen, for uh, recommending this road. It's really fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, please click like, uh, subscribe, and write me a comment. And uh, I hope we meet on the road. And until we do, like they say around here, Sampai Jumpa Lagi.